news, British teacher suspended for using mug with image of the Prophet Muhammad. An unnamed teacher from Clo uh, Clochester, or Clo Clochester Royal Grammar School in Essex was suspended over a mug depicting an image of the Prophet Muhammad. The picture on the mug features an image from the week weekly comic strip Jesus and Mo, which deals in humorous and poignant religious satire. The school, after being notified, promised to take robust action. The Atheist Republic news team spoke to the creator of the Jesus and Mo comic, who goes by the pseudonym Mo Jones. Mo Jones expressed his criticism of the action taken against the teacher, stating, quote, I do not think the suspension was fair or proportionate, given what the, is publicly known about the case. And we should not be encouraging or respecting religious taboos held by a few fanatics, he added. The Daily Mail also reported that the image was taken weeks prior and then circulated online, at which point uh, it picked up viral outrage. The school is reacting with the suspension because of the quote-unquote growing concern from students. Scarlett Mansfield, a former student who claimed that Colchester Royal Grammar School is plagued by sexist behavior, said, quote, everyone has known for ages that this teacher is completely like that. Whatever that's supposed to mean. <laughs> like what? What has this got to do with sexism? I don't know what's going on. Well, apparently this is a student who became known for writing this very infamous blog post calling out the school's like rampant sexism and RAPE culture or something. And so they asked her, her for comment and she's like, oh yeah, he, you know, everyone knows he's just like, like that. I guess supposed to mean like insensitive or. Yeah. Um, well, I, I have the yeah. cartoon that he had in the mug. Should I show that? Yeah, I found it. Yeah, you found it. You sent it to me. Oh, you sent it on the Google Drive. So this is literally what he had on the mug? This is it? So, well, if you zoom in, it's it's not the Jesus and Mo part. It's what they're saying to each other. So can you zoom in so we can read what they're saying? It's the most mild thing in the world. It's literally Jesus saying, hey, and Prophet Muhammad saying, how you doing? What's, what, okay, what's the issue? I don't get it. Like, What's this is the, the thing. It's not even, like, I can understand, like, more outrage if it was Charlie Hebdo because the actual portrayal of those images, like, are purposefully exaggerated and stereotypical. And people find, like, beyond the depiction, the fact that Muhammad is being depicted, they find the way he's depicted to be, like, racist. Um, here, it's literally just Jesus and Muhammad saying, hi, and how are you doing? <laughs> But first of all, Charlie Hebdo is not racist, okay? It has, it no, I'm saying but people and, in fi find oh. it that way. Okay, okay. Um, but seriously, like I'm like I'm trying to like I don't I am actually holding back right now. You're telling me this is the only thing the man had on the mug, and this, this reportedly, this is, reportedly, and this is what caused the outrage. Yes, he's just saying hey, and Jesus is saying hey, and Muhammad saying how you doing. Okay, for people who are listening to this on the podcast and not watching this on our video, okay, it's just literally just Jesus and Muhammad just standing there. Okay, there's not like there's nothing happening. There's not they're not doing anything insulting. They're just saying hi to each other. Okay, there's literally nothing else. I'm not I'm not like is okay. This is where we are at. At okay, this is if this. You should send them our cartoons. It, this is what people are getting offended by now, <laughs> and this is in the UK. What the hell? Yeah, is yeah, happening? yeah, 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 mm. yeah. Okay, this is outrageous. Well, how, what do you? Okay, so when I was thinking about this, you know, my initial reaction is to be like, you know, this is outrageous because you know, I this is an, an issue that I'm very sensitive about. And obviously the way that this issue has been dealt with consistently in England um, for the past at l several years has been um, in a way that we find wholly unacceptable, including there was a situation that happened uh, I believe last year with a teacher. Um, I think it was very similar with what happened to Samuel Paty, who was beheaded in Paris, where he was talking about depictions or trying to educate I can't remember exactly but basically there is an English there is a teacher in England who got in trouble for depiction of the prophet I can't remember exactly in what capacity and that teacher is still in hiding to this day 
Like that's how bad things are in England right now. So my initial reaction is to be outraged and take, but then I thought, you know, um, should teachers like have this in the classroom? Like apparently this has been like been very normal for him to have in the classroom. Like I would, when I was able to find the cartoon or what is reportedly the cartoon, it made, I, I was outraged again, but initially I was like, well, you know, maybe this, maybe they're more consistent about it. Maybe if it was an offensive portrayal, quote unquote, offensive portrayal of Jesus, they would take a similar action. Except then I realized that the cartoon literally features Jesus. Right. So it is literally about just depicting the prophet in the school setting. What do you think about that? Okay. I think it's absolutely ridiculous, disgusting, and absurd that Europe, is, after teachers being beheaded for cartoons, that the entirety of Europe is not standing unanimously strong behind its teachers and in defense of free, free speech and free expression. The fact that instead of that being the reaction, they have turned on the teachers instead, turned against them. And like this should this should have become something of an outcry for pe for everybody to be like, we are on the side of teachers and we defend their free speech. This should have been a battle cry in the entirety of Europe. And we getting news like this instead. This is ridiculous. This is shameful. Like these people should be embarrassed. And this is the United effing Kingdom. This is where we got this and France is where we got the ideas of freedom of speech and freedom of expression. What is happening? What is happening? This is like, is this like upside down world? Like if this is what's happening in UK, like th these are countries that are supposed to be the role model for other countries to look up to, to be defending freedom of expression. And then, and this is what we get? I don't understand. What if there are people who are like, oh, this isn't about freedom of expression. It's about creating an, a classroom environment in which students feel safe and respected. Um, you mean pussies? Like creating <laughs> a, a generations of snowflakes? Is that what you want to make? <laughs> Okay, I mean, if that's what you want. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my god. <laughs> sure. I don't know. I feel like I can uh, kind of understand an argument then where it's like, you know, this is about just making sure that children feel like they're not fi being singled out um, for their background. Um, I don't know. I, I, I can If you are offended by something like that, you, you know, just keep, you know, send your, do homeschooling or something. The entire school shouldn't be like tiptoeing around your kids. Or your not the kids actually. It's a fair. I don't of think all, that's a good idea is, though, because the homeschooling in the UK has led to a lot of radicalization problems. True, true, true. Well, just tough. Just like you just have to take it, okay? Your kids have to take it, okay? Just tell them. You I don't know, think that's a like, compelling argument for her parents. That's not gonna. Well, what are you gonna do? School is mandatory, and homeschooling making homeschooling illegal like France, and school is uh, mandatory. So yeah. This is how this is how it is. Okay. If there was some consistency in the policy, I wouldn't find this as egregious. I don't think the school should be just like. But it it, it is like, clearly I just pandering to Islamic I don't, like fundamentalism. I, okay, as somebody as an atheist, okay, who went to school, constantly being exposed to Islam for all my goddamn life in an Islamic country. Okay, I don't. I'm gonna tell you that this is nothing. Okay. Right. I, as an atheist, in, as a as a teenager in school, while I was an atheist, had to read the Quran, had to listen to the mm -hmm. goddamn Azan, had to listen to the Islamic recitation every morning. I had to do a Quran exams. I had to learn Arabic. I had to do all of that. OK. And I was annoyed 
okay? I was annoyed, but I wasn't like, I wasn't psychologically destroyed, okay? I ended up surviving. I came out of that alive, okay? So I think like given that me as an atheist and as ex-Muslim, as somebody who hates religion, had to go through 12 years of that, right? And came out of it alive. I don't think your kid is going to, you know, I think your kid will be able to handle a cartoon of Muhammad and Jesus saying hi to each other, okay? What's funny is that, so like I, you guys can read more about um, uh, what the Atheist Republic news team actually, you know, um, the conversation we had with the creator of this comic on our website. If you, the link is in the description if you want to read the full article. And um, basically he was saying, you know, it's kind of funny to him that they have such a problem with the portrayal of Muhammad because in his weekly comics, like Jesus is more often portrayed as like the like mean, eat, like more um dislikable like slave owning guy and muhammad is kind of like more like portrayed as like nicer and sweeter and so we just thought it was funny that they they like had such outrage over this um and uh wait i just thought this was funny um well stormy is saying the teacher should sue and seek damages there's nothing in this cartoon well it we'll see how much further action will be taken against him it uh, seems to not be like reached its completion. And Lily Frau on Facebook is uh, saying the Shahada in our live chat. Just and to, in just response to saying freedom no, no, of... No, go bring it back just for reference. Susanna is at the level of being able to recognize the Shahada even if it's written in, the Ara in Arabic. So that's where Susanna is at. That's <laughs> okay. okay, good. Um... Uh, that's right. And then in response to you talking about freedom of expression, Lily said, freedom of respect too, dear. We have to respect all religions. Islam is a peaceful religion and we respect all religions. This is a troll. Stop highlighting her. This is not a real thing. They're trying to trigger you. Uh, <laughs> this is a troll account. It's not working. I just find it hilarious. Yeah. Oh, this is in response to what you were saying about your education. Good comment, Katie. Katie is saying, as an ex-Hindu atheist, I was forced to give donations to Hindu pujas, which are like little festivals or shrines, in my college and hostel. Also tried to force me to take part in organizing the pujas, but I was firm on that. Okay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and also, what is freedom of respect? <laughs> <laughs> freedom of respect i don't know somebody i think they're just making stuff up <laughs> and then I all like right he's like katie did they at least serve tasty food <laughs> <laughs> i mean it's india all you know they always taste is feed tasty food right indian food is wait is indian food only this good outside of india or is it consistently as good inside india as well I don't know. I've never been to India, and our lawyers say oh. we can't go, so I won't find out. <laughs> oh. God damn. Damn. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, my God. Ghassim is, like, swearing at Muhammad in Arabic. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. It's Arabic. It's a mix of Arabic and Persian. It's very nasty. <laughs> That's how you know it's serious. I got to cuss yeah. you out in two languages. <laughs> yeah. Oh, PK is saying it is the best. So if we're getting a report from India that the food in India is, is really good. Okay. Oh, and Oxymoron is saying he, that uh, he was made to stand at assemblies too. Yeah. I was actually one time made to um, made to go pray with a with a giant stick. Like that was insane. Like somebody what with a giant stick, with stick was they was standing behind us because when you're standing like. As a Shia, when you're standing in prayer, you are supposed your hands supposed to be down, right? But we as kids are so impatient, like we hold our hands together behind our back because we can't just stand still. And this man with a giant stick would come every time we put our hands together behind us. He would just hit our hands with that giant God. stick so that we put that in the middle of the prayer. I don't think that is Islamically allowed. I don't think you can hit somebody with a stick while in the, they're in the middle of a prayer. I think that was not very Islamic. I'm not yeah, sure. how are you supposed to be deepening your connection to Allah when you're like, think, stop think, hitting me? I think his understanding is that if we're holding our hand, we're technically not paying attention to our prayers like that. Like if we're just like holy moly, hand. too yeah, much. That's sure. too much. 
Yeah, and that was elementary school. I think like I I don't even know why I didn't report that to my parents because I think they would have been like, "Why are you hitting my kid with a stick?" Yeah, I didn't. I don't know why so many things we didn't tell our parents. About. Anyways, uh, <laughs> well, because you're okay. a child and you're like, I guess this is what people do. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. So many things I realized that they did to us that if I told my parents, they would have been outraged, and we just never bothered to tell our parents. Um, <clears throat> oh, it's hey, so Hashem. easy to indoctrinate and abuse kids. It's freaking. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.